Greetings, I'm back from the uh, Las Vegas. I'm here in the shack. I've been trying to figure out how to get my cell phone to upload videos. I couldn't upload videos the whole last part of the trip because I did a factory restore on my cell phone. And ever since then, it wouldn't upload the videos. It would say pending. And I just figured it out that if I went into YouTube on the phone under settings, it had upload from Wi-Fi only. I needed to put any network. And uh, I'm betting that's what's going to happen now that I'll be able to upload this. I think I've got a... I don't know if I did a video of my last meal in Chinatown. I probably didn't. Maybe I did. I'll look, and if I did, I'll upload it because it was my best meal of the trip. I went off the real Chinese menu there and spent some money and had some good meals. But we'll see if this uploads. Let's see if I can... Uh, see if the frequency is in use. URL. I think I hear somebody out there. And here's what I'm practicing right now at 13 words a minute. I want to show you what I bought when I was in Vegas at the amateur. Electronic Supply AES. It's a MFJ Morse code tutor. It's about the size of a Walkman. And uh, it's a great little device. It, it'll send you code in words, QSOs, Q codes, whatever you want at whatever speed you want. The only. I got it sending at 10 words a minute. You can't see the screen here in the dark, but it's got a little screen there. See it? hot. Scope. Yep, I was right. See, I can, I can read a lot faster than 10 words a minute. I can copy a lot faster than 10 words a minute. But I've been, there's the screen. I'm trying to get so you can see it. But for me to copy it in my head without writing it down and put it to a word, I have to go to about 10 words a minute. It's really tough. But, you know, copying and writing it down letter for letter, I can do it a lot quicker. But that's one of the things I'm using this for when I walk the dogs and stuff is just copying it in my head without having to write it down. That's like a different brain function. It really is. Because you have to copy the letter. Say it goes did it, did. You have to say, okay, that's an S. And then you have to place that S in like a holding area in your brain. Listen for the next letter, da 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 it. There's your P. Now you have to put the P there and say, okay, I've got an S and a P. As you're listening for the next letter, you have to keep them in it's like keep them in the back burner of the brain. And the next say the next one's an R, da da it. So you got an S P R going, you gotta listen for the next letter, and it's it's tough to hold those letters in your brain and keep them there and listen for the next for the next uh, letter, I guess it takes a lot of practice. But, you know, I think what it takes is using that part of your brain to, to exercise it, you know, where you'll get better and better at it. That's what I think. But anyway, this is my MFJ Pocket Morris Code Tutor. Spent some money on it, but I like it. And I can take it with me this summer. Because one of the things I found when I was in Vegas, you know, I was at the conference and everything else, but, you know, I wasn't doing any code. And uh, once I bought this device, I started working on code, like in the evening and stuff, when I was riding the bus. So I figured, you know, this summer will keep me in practice. And it, it has a, a jack on it for a headphone. The only thing, there's two things I don't like about it. The back speaker's not powerful enough. So if you're going to use it without the headphones, it's tough to hear it when you're outside and there's noise going on. And the other thing is it didn't come with a belt clip. That's my only two complaints about it. But I'll probably buy, buy a little belt clip uh, holder for it so I can put it on my belt. And then I'll use the uh, headphones for it. But that's my MFJ Morse Code I got Morse Code Tutor. I got it at Amateur Electronic Supply there in Vegas, AES. And I was impressed with it. 
I actually bought a 9 volt battery which is what it runs on and took the 9 volt because I, I went to the store and they didn't have the battery when I was going to buy this. He said, yeah, you can try it out but you have to have your own battery. So I went to Walgreens, bought a battery, came over there the next day, sat in the chair there and took this thing out of the box and put the battery in it and I worked it and I said, you know, it's worth buying so I bought it. Anyway, I'm going to see if this video uploads. I think it will. But I'm home. Back in the groove. Got class tomorrow morning. We're clear.